All right, we just got home from helping Ian and Hogan. And listen, I'm talking right now to the aspiring young tree man or woman or child. If you, listen, if you come home from a job and you're beat and you're tired and you're, you're whipped, it just blow them out blow your saws out, sharpen them, because you're gonna have to go to work the next day, and if you put your freaking saws away dull and 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 not blown out, friends, I'm, I'm just telling you, you, you know, I'm just sharing what I do and what I've done to be successful in any business, but especially this business, and I'll tell you why. Because every day you come home and not do this, You're gonna end up, you're just gonna end up running into problems with your gear. You just are. So this is hand file. I'm gonna keep it hand file. I love this, this, uh, I, I love the hand filing. I, I just do. The chain is not terribly uh, dull, but I will show you what we're looking at. So friends, you can see what, I, what I'm talking about. Let's get right in here. Hey, I just sharpened here. Let's go. Let's do this. Boom. Okay. See. This this is what we do. Sorry, friends. This is what I deal with. See the hook. It's not. It's nothing crazy. See. So this filing now, I will grab. I'd almost like to get you guys right here. Wouldn't that be amazing if I could show you right now, and and show you that I'm gonna get rid of that right there. Look at that piece of skin on my finger. <laughs> there. See that. You see it? it? It's not dull, but it's not sharp neither. See that? It's a little ragged, friends. Okay. It's not. It may, it, it'll cut. Don't, don't give your wrong. That's not right. Why does that do that, friends? There. So anyway, I'm going over it and I'll show you what I do. Okay. This is pretty good actually friends. So I, I just want to show you now what I do because this is about the third filing. I'm going after this tooth right here. See the little gullet? So here's a problem at this point where something can happen that you don't want to happen. Okay. See the gullet forming right there. Like I say, this is a full house chain. So now we're at the stage where, okay, I may have to Let's see if I can do this without this thing moving. I'm going to one hand it so you can actually see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing? I'm going down friends. Okay. And now that I've gone down about three or four strokes, now I start a glide and get top plate. Watch. See, see the connection to the top plate now. Friends, I'm one handing this just so that you can see the bottom of the gullet go. Okay. My top plate is still not where I want it. So I'm just going to give it a couple of these because I'm used to getting it like this. And that was, that was friends, that was actually one handed. So that, that doesn't really, I'll show you what I go for. Let me just, let me just clean it up normal. Like I normally do. There's a freaking sharp tooth right there. Okay. I'm going to show you what I do. going to show you what I do. These are, these are literally cleanup strokes. I showed you the chain prior. And if you don't, if you, if you look at it and you think it's sharp after cutting, uh, it's not. And it will cut way better after, after doing this. This one's a little high in the gullet, actually. That makes sense, friends? You can see the gullet there, right there. Sorry, here, this guy. See, I can see it. I can see it right there. So if I wanted to make things even, just a couple sweeps down, pull that out of there, then a couple glider strokes just to make sure there's no burr on top. There they go. 
gone. See that? Y you see what I mean about how the gauges are kind of a, and you can see the little gullet here that we got to get when we come back and file now on the other side. So this is what this looks like. My tip's up against the truck. My arm's over here. I'm comfortable as heck. This is me. This is it. These are glider strokes. Don't forget to push down or you're gonna end up with a ski jump. The 730 seconds is designed to take the whole chain, friends. And depending on what's the matter with the chain, I don't mind some of this. This though, is not good. Side to side, you do not want. This, this is no problem. And nor is that, none whatsoever. It's your chain. Take a look at what you need to do. This has a bit of gullet that I want out of there. Those were hard strokes. The gullet is completely gone, like wiped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, friends? So that, that's how I do that. Now, though, if I go too deep, I'm going to get a great big burr on a weak top plate in a weak corner. Don't want that. It's not going to last me. There we go. Glide that through there. Make sure I got full contact on the top plate with the file. And you got a rip snorting tooth right there. <laughs> See my new necklace? Friends, good morning. It, yeah, it's interjection time. Indeed it is. You'll notice me, friends, I'm whacking away at this. I'll, 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 I'll stroke one tooth 30 times. Doesn't matter to me until I get my desired effect. You can crack down, grab gullet, right? But then you've gone, now you've gone under. You've gone under the tooth. Like this, with the file. Say my arm's a file. Well, if you don't get that burr off, friends, you're going to cut good for one or two bucks. And right away, that weak plate is going to, it's not going to do well for a very long period of time. So I want you to do one thing as I'm going here. It's a short interjection. Watch. I'm only going to file a couple more and I'm going to move on because it kind of gets boring watching a guy file a power saw. But if you're learning about filing, this is good stuff to see what's actually happening. Oh, you've gone down a couple. You don't have to do what I do, but it sure speeds it up. It's boom, boom, gullet gone, level out. I talk about glider strokes. I talk about gullet strokes. I talk about maintenance strokes, all kinds of different strokes. You can't get that with a freaking gadget or a guide. You just can't do it. So it's just it's just what i've been teaching and talking about for years is is freehand you use these suckers right so listen to when i first start a chain i think i said oh this is pretty ragged and i and i start you'll hear it <laughs> and then i start gliding and rolling off that burr if there's one there if there's not great we'll just meet the top plate the top plate and cutting edge meets the file Let's go back and watch some. Oh yeah, we got some ragged stuff here now. Friends, I know I repeat myself, but this is a repetitive learning. Listen to the file when I start a tooth and when I finish it. We're gonna cut on again the way with through. this down there. People ask me, oh my God, you stroked that saw 30 times. And then they say, man, your chains are cutting good, eh, Bucking? It's all in the filing. 
If you have a, a not very powerful saw, you can make that saw look powerful by filing your chain good. Yeah, see, this is this has got to get down a bit, this now. Okay, you guys have seen enough. And I also highly recommend, if you're getting into this game, you want to learn to file both directions. That's just what I recommend for you. You can file anywhere. Get your chest on it. You can even put your, your up your, you throw the power head, depends on, depends on how you're doing you throw your power head in your armpit and the wrap if you got a wrap which i hope you do the wrap works as a, a falcrum for your wrist to just sit here and go like this look at this friends look at what i'm doing it's right in my armpit that's got to be up against there so you're not rocking and here you go here's the other side right you can do that this is fairly comfortable i i think i may change something here but i'm just showing you the ways you can do this. Okay. Because we had a bit of a, a uh, what you might call it on that side. Now it's gone. Yeah, see, this is lovely now. Very nice. So, but I, I prefer to be right dead square center over it like this. It's just how I prefer it. I can look right down on top. That's not bad now. See how nice and solid the bar is? Nothing's moving. That's nice. Very nice. Feel that run smooth? It starts to run smooth. Listen. This thing's going to cut tomorrow or the next day whenever I get back out. You know what I'm saying, friends? Get the gullet. You gotta get the gullet. It's not evil. That's not. That's not evil, friends. See? That's what we're talking about. It's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's a full house chain. I don't want this crazy. See, that? That's that's filed. Now, if we go around the other side, that, exactly the same as the other side, friends. Oop. Okay? There's another one. That's a hot saw. Got to make sure you get that, that top plate. You want to be running smooth through that file, friends. You don't want to get underneath that top plate and have a weak top plate and a top cor and a corner, working corner. You want to have a chain that's going to last. So these big, these big hooks I'm seeing out there, they cut great for a couple of bucks. But then, you know, you're, you're kind of lost after that. 
This is my shoulder therapy right here. Well, I'm sitting on my, my ball here, friends. So when I sit on the computer, I, um, I kind of do this. So this is, you know, what, when I'm making videos anyways, or doing whatever, I sit on the ball. You can't see it, but it's there. So as I sit here, my whole core, right, is firing k -k 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 little stabilizer muscles all through my lower and that, you know, it even, it's even harder to do when you're actually doing something. Why do I do this? Why do I freaking come? Why? The sun's out right now, friends. I've got, you know what I got on my mind, don't you? A zoom, zoom, rip a snort, a caraca. Yeah, but I do videos because we've developed a community over the last probably seven, eight years now. I've met the most incredible people. Uh, friends, my work is not who I am. It's not. And yours may not be either. It's part of who we are. It's part of our spirit, part of our, right, of being here. Uh, I owe everything to this industry, everything. I, w I was a, a well, I was a lost man. I was a lost individual floating around. Uh, you know what I mean, friends? I was floating around till I was about 27 years old. And it got really bad. You know, we talk about the opposites, the black, the white, the fear, the love, the hot, the cold. Well, I figured out who I wasn't and who I didn't want to be before I could figure out who I wanted to be and who I wanted to create. So this channel is not just about, hey, look at me, cut a tree down. And I know there's people sitting here watching me right now for the holy smokes, I've heard Buck and say that. You have heard me say that. And it's the truth. There's more here than just that. But I get a lot of questions, friends, these days. A lot. And, and, it, and, and I, I can tell you, you can have the most hot rod power saw and the, the coolest muffler and the thing rips, snorts. But if you don't know how to file a power saw, you're going nowhere fast, real fast. <laughs> anyway, friends, I'm, I'm on my way out. I've got to get out into this beautiful day, breathe some fresh air, get some vitamin D on the carcass. Uh, I'm feeling good. Honey, you heading out? No. Okay. Friends, we love you over and out, work hard, be honest, and be kind. See you on the next one. Okay, I'm about done.